So we don't know the rules. <laughs> okay. Good thing we were only on for three All minutes. this time. We've got to talk to Instagram all this time. For two years, we have been... We, we have to wait and get more followers on. Well, yeah. I mean, it ended again. Why is it doing that? Because I, we used to play... Come on, Eileen. We used to play everything from the covers album, which you yeah, would think would more. We used to play. No, it's just the, like a song, any song. It's just a new thing that they have. It's like YouTube. You can't put music on YouTube or else it gets copyrighted. Okay, this is so, making me so angry, Instagram. Like, it's really ridiculous. We should be able to play 30 seconds of my own song. I do kind of agree that if it's your song, you need to figure out a way to be able to play it. But, That's oh well. That's crazy. Well, we were saying... We were saying, Happy Easter. Hope everybody had a great Easter. Happy Easter. Um, um, last week, we, were gonna we had show. Lisa Hartman Black and... Go back. Can they still see us? Yeah. Wait. And, and her daughter, Lily, who is Clint Black, country star's wife and daughter. And so, um, we invited them for Easter. They came for Easter. So, I was saying, Friday, we... Uh, we played tennis. We had a really long game because you played really well. And I had so, a really good day of tennis. Normally, I beat you like so badly, and Friday I only beat you seven five, which was which is, a yeah. long match. And we should have gone ahead and played. Oh, we did play two more games after that. Yeah, or so, one at least. Yeah. Yeah. So we actually played like thirteen games of tennis and a long warm up. So then Friday night I went to the grocery, got all the groceries. Um, came home, unpacked all of them. And you know how that's just like exhausting. Yeah. And then, um, Saturday, you and I, because we are the ones who do everything. We always say that our family would never eat or have fun if it wasn't for us. It's kind of true. It like, is so It's just true. really true. So we, um, borrowed a ton of stuff from Mary Beth who lives across the street. Oh, thank God. Okay, something's wrong my... with your phone or Instagram or something. I don't know what it is. And they said, does she have the latest? Because um, we talked to him about it. I have the latest version of Instagram, and my phone does automatic updates. So why would I not have the latest I don't know. version of Instagram? Anyway, I'm sorry, you guys. And this is where we have always done it, so it has nothing to do with our Wi-Fi, nothing like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Something's weird. Definitely weird. Are they, this. like, pausing us on purpose? <laughs> Who's they? It's just, like... Instagram. Uh, no. Okay. So, anyway, we, um, bought, we, we set up a table for eight people that are, like, uh, late teens, early 20s, and then we had an adult table, so it was me and my brother Matt and his wife KK, Clint and Lisa Black... And my cousin Adam and his wife Shannon. And then we had four little, little ones. Well, 11 and under. And they had their own. So we're going to show you the pictures. Yeah, they have their cute living. little... Okay, let's see. Let's see if it'll load. I don't know why these aren't showing up either. What is going on? This is what where we have always... I think it's your Wi-Fi. Or like your... Is your Wi-Fi even on? No. But it's always better without Wi-Fi. I don't know why the pictures aren't loading. This is crazy. I can show them. Oh yeah, you God. have them on your camera. You guys, what is going on? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, so, I... Fun fact about Clint Black that not everybody knows. Um, he is one of the funniest people I've ever met. He is really fun. Oh, show him that one. That's a good one. Okay, this was the kids' table. <laughs> kids. But this was everyone. Um... That is such a great picture. Show them you. No, that you doesn't hate that. Look like Show him Audrey. Since so Audrey cute. never. Jazz was here. Nicole. Um, this you is don't a funny show picture. them very well, or you don't show it long enough. That's a really good one because Blake fell asleep. This is all of us. We were like playing Quiplash. And Shut I'm up. about to. I'm telling them. Oh, you're just like. Show them. Stop telling me what to do. I'm just trying to get them to see the pictures. I'm about to. We you were sitting on the couch and we were Ron watching. Ron said, slow down. We were watching. <laughs> I mean, we were playing Quiplash and all of a sudden we all like look over. Mom was like, we need a picture of you. And everyone looked over and, and Blake uh, was dead Blake asleep. Was, 
like passed out on the and couch. he was in a food coma like actually no actually he like couldn't breathe yeah no one could I have not go, guys. eaten that much. Okay, let's name all the food we had. We had, um... Oh, I can show. I got a plate of didn't everything. I, didn't I Someone it? sat down at my, at the table next to me and goes, whose plate is that? And I was like, it's mine. Well... And it was full, like, let me show you. Okay, we made, um... Oh I my have god, everything. that looks amazing. Isn't that the best picture ever? Like, oh, we had, not only did we have, like, traditional... Easter, Easter food. food. We had ham. We had ham, and we also had meatloaf that Uncle Matt made, and we call it Matt Loaf. Mm -hmm. Uncle Matt makes lasagna. the best meatloaf in town. Yeah, it's amazing. Then lasagna. We had mac and cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Quiche. Go back to the lasagna. Yeah, we made a lasagna, homemade lasagna homemade. on Saturday. Y'all, it, it's like the best thing it's ever. It's the best lasagna ever, and we have an entire thing of it downstairs. We may have to get a bite. Don't tell me afterwards. That. No. But I I was literally sick after eating. Yeah, so go on. Deviled eggs, quiche. Mashed potatoes, ham, casseroles. Oops. Yeah, Nicole brought a quiche. But I want to show them the decor. Let's try that again. I think I, Do we go here? I have pictures. I have pictures of it. Like, I'll, I mean, we can try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh yeah, show that. That's a good one. We set up that table. It doesn't. Does it have the glasses on it yet? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so that that's the kids' table, table, which we set up, which is not normally in our living room. Um, I've been listening to your book, Sarah. And I mean, this was our dining room. Listening to your book, love it. Sorry, off subject. Oh, oh that's okay. I'm. Thank you for buying my book. Go get the book. For those of you who don't know. Oh, look, there was the adult table. That's Fred. That's so pretty. Aw. It's so pretty. It was so pretty. It was pretty. a great day. It was a wonderful um, Easter. How do you make your deviled eggs? You and Audrey, Audrey and I made them. them. Uh, well, you boil them. And then you take out the middle. And we put just uh, mayo and mustard and salt and pepper and garlic salt. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we did anything And paprika else. on and top. And then paprika on top. Yeah. Yeah. And we, like, actually piped them this year, so they were a lot prettier. Oh, yeah. Piping means, you know, like, you're, like what you would do icing with. Yeah. And they were very beautiful. They were so pretty. And delicious. Um, okay. Sorry. My nose is itching. So Allergies. I wanted to play Jenga with Clint Black and um, Lisa Hartman Black. And so Matt, KK, Clint, Adam, and I played Jenga. Mm -hmm. And Clint Black, I, that's when I realized he's one of the funniest people on earth. I did not know this. Yeah. Because I just never have seen really that side of him. But everything he said, every comment, like he could be a stand-up comic. I, honestly. I it was totally So agree. much fun. So the he's Easter so Bunny funny. came. Yeah. The and Easter Bunny came. let's show them, let's show them Audrey's basket. Okay. okay. This is Audrey's Easter basket that she got from the Easter Whoa. Bunny. Caught it. Okay, so it has um, a sleep yeah. mask. So nice of him. <laughs> so nice. Of the, the Easter Bunny knows exactly what y'all need. It has that. Makeup. Explain what that is. I think it's a makeup removing towel. It is. The Easter Bunny and I talked. So it, it is. It's a makeup removal towel, and then you just throw it in the wash. But it, there's oh. something about it that works really well. I'm going to use this tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. It's tonight. No. Why? Because I want to be Let's get alone. in my bed and watch The Gilded Age. That would be... No! My cat is has been alone all of Easter weekend. All right. Let's look at what else Audrey got. She got multifunctional beauty razors. So you... These are amazing. These are amazing razors. You can open if you want while I talk. Should I and, do it on camera? Yes, shave your face. No, do my, I'll do my eyebrow. Okay. Then Audrey got these really cute PJs. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the PJs. I'm going to put There's the on. top, and then these really cute bottoms. So cute. The Easter I Bunny knows exactly what Audrey likes. Okay. And then Audrey got this amazing candle that smells like your grandma's house, which is a good thing. Amazing. Because I like things that smell like an old woman's flowers, you know, like. Cozy. Co oh, smell that. I think I'm going to steal it from Audrey. I want that. Is that the same as mine? Um, I don't know. Ask the Easter Bunny. Uh, we'll tell. Yes, it is. Okay. This okay. Is a, and am then, I supposed to do this with makeup on? I'm definitely not. Robin eggs. She also got um, what if I just Hershey's like candy egg thingies. And then she got an Easter Bunny full of 
chocolates. What if I totally just like shave? Don't off? mess up your brow. I'm not doing the middle. Okay, what did you get in your basket? No. I want one of these. So you're doing in the middle of your brows? Well, I'm going to get a facial on Wednesday, so I better not touch my brows. Yeah, better not. Um, I haven't done my brows in like five months because last time I did it, uh, and it's not her fault, but the lady that did them literally took away all of my brows. That's terrible. So I've been letting them grow back out, so they're like messy right now. But yeah, I, I don't know why people do that. Okay, oh, so I, you got one of those too to shave your face and your brows. And then look, I also got... A makeup towel, but I kind of want to take the black one. Actually, no, I like the pink. Yeah, the pink's cute. I mean, Audrey, let's just trade. Audrey the black's here. Like I got it. Okay. All right. You got a coffee mug that says, but, but first, first pray, pray, which is so true. And it's so cute and cozy. Olivia is not a Christian, so she needs <laughs> to know. Shut up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, um, I got some candy, which I'll eat late at night. This is my favorite, the show, the PJs. Hold on. I also, she also got, sleep got the sleep, which actually I needed a new one because mine right now has fur fuzziness on it and it's itchy. You know what's funny? What? The Easter Bunny didn't bring me anything. Oh my gosh, how rude of him. The Easter Bunny doesn't think about moms. Maybe the Easter Bunny like helped set up and do everything and get everything Um, ready. Maybe the, the Easter Bunny, the Easter Bunny like, also did all the setting up. I got some eggs. As well. Some Easter bunny eggs. You also got a grandma candle. And it's the same. Does it smell great? It smells amazing. Oh, it's so good. Okay, and then look how cute mine are. I'll show the shorts, you show the top. Perfectly cute. Wait, raise yours. Isn't that cute? It's like I'm gonna wear it old fashioned PJ. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have the coziest night. I am. Are you gonna watch Gilded Age? Maybe, yeah. Okay, so that's our show. So I've watched one half of an episode. We watched it on Easter and I fell asleep after church. And so, uh, yeah, I didn't get to watch the rest of it. So I need to watch it. But I also need to finish Yellowstone and a few others. We I had a bunch class. of stuff that we had to make after church, but it was so freezing cold. So we, uh, Avery did get completely different things. The Easter Bunny <laughs> knows that Avery's a boy. So Avery got like, what did he get? Oh, we got some kit. cool shorts, a dot kit, um, something like that. I Stuff hope you like guys that. don't mind. What? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I made a smoothie, but I didn't have a straw. And then we also had some people over to that just um, don't have family here. So I always, I always like to invite people to, because mm -hmm. you know when you don't live your near your family, and it's hard to get home real quick for just like yeah. Easter or whatever. So, um, that was really fun too. So we had, we had a big, big Easter. We did. Day. It was very big. It was so much amazing food. Like you wouldn't even imagine. It was, I was, I was panicking after the food though. Cause I was like, I'm going to be That's sick. why this is my dinner. Yeah. I mean. Isn't it? You want a bite? Okay. Try one. Do you not like it? Oh, it's so good. Yeah. What's it made with? Just. Strawberries and agave and what's agave? Milk. It's like a healthy sweetener. Um, I'm gonna try to show some pictures again. Do we go there? I worked at Urban Juicer. Did you guys know that? That's Where do I we know. go for pictures? Mm. Up there. Mm -mm -mm. I want to do it. Mm -mm. You, you guys remember every week I say Olivia drives me crazy because she won't let me hold things like you. Pull things away from me. Why won't my camera roll come up? Your phone is kind of stupid. So annoying. Her phone has always kind of been stupid. Y'all, we have some incredible guests on tonight. I'm really, really looking forward to I am really excited. I'm trying on. to think of anything else we need to talk about before we bring the guests on. I know. But, um, like, what else have we been doing? I'm just working. Um, we are uh, going on the road this weekend. Yes, we Finally get back on the road this weekend, and then we kind of start, and we're busy, like, Like, all every the time. weekend. Yeah. Like, it's kind of scary. It's kind of daunting. It is. No, it's scary. We, we were talking about it. Jazz was like, I looked at the schedule, and she was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, but we need to be busy. Yeah. That's I'm so cute. excited. Remember when I bought you that barrette at Free People? You didn't. You bought me this? Mm -hmm. I've never seen this in my life. Oh my god. I gave you that as a gift when we still lived in Birmingham. I've never seen this before. 
try it on. Just try on. Side, hey, but what movie is that from? Yeah, and you wore it right back here. You pulled your. No, that was a different beret. Oh, I was just going through my jewelry box and just seeing a bunch of what? jewelry that I have not worn in so long. This is cute. I really need to clean it out. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That's Way not to my do a cute side, but I'll I'll let it happen. Both of your sides are no, good. no, no, no. I I'm starting to like try and appreciate my right side because normally I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's uh -huh. so awful. So I've started like trying to just you know embrace her. Let's see if our right sides are the same. Hold on. To me, mine just looks like the complete, like it's so different. Oh, we gotta talk about your new song. Okay. Which one? Oh yeah, I can play it. You guys. Cause that's Avery not released. and Olivia have written a smash hit song. You guys. It is incredible. It's called um, Love Me Like. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to say the title right. And it is incredibly beautiful. Olivia posted it on her TikTok. And for some reason... I'm working your, on my TikTok. Your TikTok algorithms have gotten off a little it's been bit. Like, like the, you have like it's frustrating. some TikToks that you have posted that have four million views, and then some that have like twenty views. So we're, I don't know what's going on, but everybody go to Olivia Evans Music TikTok. Yeah, and I also put it on my story and follow it, share it, like it, view it. All um, the things. Avery's been working on the song all day long. Yeah, like, it is. Um. A country song. Can you debut it a little I bit? I can. I would totally. I mean, I already posted it. I might as well. I mean, it Instagram like, no, shouldn't this cut us off. What is this? What? Oh, it's a new vest I got. Is there some sort really of vest cute. That I can wear? Is there some sort of vest that I can wear? I should wear this tonight. Okay, wait, Okay, what on. movie is that from? Can you scoot over one second so I can put this on? It's inside up. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's cute. I like it. What movie is that from where he says, is there some sort of vest that I could wear? You guys, I got to tell you about something. Do you guys want me to make weird. country music? Livy's considering going into country music. No, here's the thing. Yeah, I told you. We've had talks. Look. This is so good. I, told you. I don't necessarily like need to say like I'm doing either. I should do whatever, but I have been writing lots of country songs. And yeah. my version of, we like to call it Nashville pop. And I love that term. And what did I tell it's you true. today? What? It's Olivia Evans music. Because even like when I made a covers record and I recorded Come On Eileen, that is Sarah Evans music because it's me and my voice. So no matter what kind of music you make, you don't have to define your genre. Yeah. But you, you know. can just, um, Put out music but like, yours. what would everyone think about I'm it? also obsessed with the Charlie Puth song. And I'm sorry about messing with my hair. God, I hate myself. No. I, I have to stop messing with my hair. It is so good. Okay, I'll play. It needs, um, it needs some sugar or something a little sweeter. It's agave. So I could just put more in it. I worked yeah. at Urban Juicy. That's how I learned how to make smoothies. Like, really you seem to brag smoothies. about that a lot. That you I know. I'm joking. Juicer. No, it's, it's actually funny because like everyone works there in Nashville. I was a waitress. Okay, yeah, here's a new song. I'll play a verse into a chorus. That's as loud as I This is all the music is Avery. Been a long last couple of months trying to get over us. I thought I'd go and try my luck and find it someone new. Few dates didn't go so bad, but a lot of them made me sad. Guess the kind of love we had is far and few. Uh, we're really technologically challenged. Oh my god, you let your screen go dark! I don't care. Go back to the beginning, of course. <laughs> there, there. Go back. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> so all I need is someone to love me and buy. Those days in city streets, but I'm way too cold. Dancing in an old bus, speed down an open road. Might be a little rough for a lean, it's just but at least it's true. So in other words, I need someone to love me, love me like you. It is 
vibes. You need to put a ton more. Why don't you take yourself out of it? <laughs> you need to put so many more vocals on it. I know. We just did. They, the night before Easter. Um, it's beautiful. We, Adam and Avery, made me stay up till two. We had to get up for church at like eight thirty. And they were like, we're doing it, we're finishing it. So I had to just play the course again loud. Ever since you left, nobody's left me TikTok and share it, like it, follow I it, do it all. I love country music and I love This best makes me look like I have no neck. and writing country music. Then do it. Do whatever you want. I want to do next all year, of it though. I have such a problem with that. Next year, if you feel like making a pop record, make that. Or a gospel record. Don't be in a box. Don't put yourself in a box. You're right. It's just Olivia Evans music. It's Avery Evans music. And the two of you write incredible music together. And so you just need to do whatever you feel like. Tomorrow night you guys might write a rap song. I know. Who knows? Like literally. Yeah. That's true. Um, okay, yeah. But there's our new song. It's beautiful, honey. Um, yeah. That's the other thing. Women in country music. You know? Yeah. <sighs> what? What were you going to say? No, they need to. We need more. Yeah. They need to play women in country music. We need more. Um, but aren't these the cutest earrings I just found? So cute. I love them. Mm -hmm. So Thank should you. we bring on our special guests? I think we should. I, I think it's time. I'm so excited to meet these girls and we have some fun things to talk to them about. So you guys know I come from a family of seven kids. I grew up singing with my siblings. And so these two girls are sisters. Can you get the I can. The info. Should I try and read it tonight? Yes, you read it. Hmm. And then after we let the girls go, we'll sing a couple of songs. Okay. Okay, so. I got it. I will effing <laughs> kill you. I'm taking back your Easter basket. That was Do you guys Easter see how it. annoying that is? I, I just want to see something. And you're like, man, <laughs> you have been that way since you were born. <laughs> I cannot stand that. Okay, I just wanted to get that information right there. There you go. Okay, go ahead. They are a sister duo from Sulphur Springs, Indiana. I Good Midwest talk. girls. In 2020, they were CMT's Listen Up and Next Women of Country Artists. Yep. That's so cool. In 2021, they showcased their hit song, Bits and Pieces, on the Kelly Clarkson show. Wait, um, I haven't been on Kelly Clarkson's show. I don't know why you haven't. Take it up with Kelly. The Wait. duo have shared the stage with country greats like Dwight Yoakam, Willie Nelson, Loretta Lynn, and Martina McBride, as well as breakout acts like Old Dominion and Eli Young Band. Um, their latest song, You and Jesus, featuring Graylin. So good. Graylin James. Came out on Good Friday, April 15th, and it is amazing. We need to have Graylin James on, too. Yep. Um, Y'all, but this song, I mean, I want to play it, but I don't want to get cut off. I don't want to risk it. Maybe they can sing it, or maybe we can play it at the end for like a time. Yeah, maybe bit. they'll sing it. Oh, someone was asking us, so I'll, uh, never mind. Never mind. I'll mention that after they're on. Okay. Okay. So, will you guys please welcome to the show, do we want to say their, their, their names or their, well, their band name is Walker County. But they are Ivy and Sophie, and they're sisters. They're adorable. And I'm obsessed with their new song. 
Weird. And I'm also obsessed with this smoothie. I'm just scared that, okay, ready? How this happens. Let's how this. <laughs> Let's how this. Let's how this. <laughs> Wait, where are they? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> Hello, beautiful ladies! Hi! Hey. How are you? I'm having so much fun watching you guys hang out. It's awesome. I mean, you know, it's really, really, really closet chaos tonight. All like, the time. It's chaotic. <laughs> Okay, who is older and who is Ivy and who is Sophie? I'm Ivy Dean. I'm three years older. And yeah. I'm Sophie Dawn. And I'm the youngest. I'm the baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I love how you said your first and middle names. Do you go by that all the time? Yeah. yeah. Um, Mom was very proud of our middle names, so we, we say them quite a bit. <laughs> Wait, so Ivy, Ivy Dawn. Dean. No, Dean? Ivy Dean, Sophie Dawn. Uh, Sophie Dawn. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I love it. I love that. Okay, so is it just the two of you, or you, do you come from a big family? Just the two of us. Uh, we're the only siblings. Yeah. I don't think our parents could have handled any more girls no. or boys. Or, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys like a total handful? Were you good girls, or did you get in trouble a lot? We were re we were actually really good. We girls. were very good. We were good. <laughs> we were we were afraid to get in trouble uh, when we were younger. Uh, it's not the same now. Yeah. We're a little more, we're a little more we, wild now. But. We started music when I was nine years old, and yeah. we knew it was going to be a career at that age. So yeah, like, oh don't get in trouble, <laughs> or your career is going to be over. So we really stayed. Yeah, very good. <laughs> That's awesome. That okay, so you moved to Nashville, obviously. When did y'all move here, and how did you get? Because the music industry is so crazy right now, and I love hearing um everyone's story of how they be became famous because like when i moved to nashville it was still very standard like you got a record deal made a record released yeah. it toured to support it now everything it's just anything goes and any and mostly so social media so oh. what is y'all's story so so we started playing as a family our dad's the lead guitar player um mom was the merch lady all growing up so we started when i was 12 9 and um we went on a family vacation to nashville and dad was like hey do you girls want to street perform just to say we did it and so we literally opened the guitar case on fourth and broad and at as, as 12 and 9 we we sang about like three like bluegrass songs um and then sophie kicked me and dad shut the case the and he was like okay we're done uh yeah. so we ended up going back home and dad was like you know you guys made like 10 bucks in four minutes. You sang like one song. He was like, what about, you know, going back down to Nashville and learning about an hour's worth of music. And, um, and we made like 200 bucks. So we thought we were rich. We were like, this is amazing. Um, yes. so we went and bought, I think like a bill to bear the next day or something, but <laughs> we going back home to Indiana and that becoming our thing, we started playing fairs and festivals, churches, anywhere they'd listen to us. And then about eight years ago, mm -hmm. we made an EP just to, you know, get better shows, uh, hopefully get to travel more. Mm -hmm. And it got into the hands of Warner Music Nashville. Mm -hmm. And they called us. And we were still living in Indiana at the time. Mm -hmm. I had just graduated high school. And they said, hey, we'd love for you to come down and play for our our team. We really love what you guys are doing. We had no clue about how Nashville Anything. or label worked at no the time. Clue. Yeah. And, um, we drove down on a weekend and played for A and R and John Esposito over at Warner Music and they called us two hours later and offered us an artist deal and pub deal. It was like oh my very God. It was amazing. amazing. Yeah. That, was amazing. that is incredible. I bet you guys absolutely died. Oh we did. We yeah, were we like were... we were freaking out. We were at Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> we <were> yeah. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> My dad just, I remember my dad telling us, like, we hadn't heard back or anything. He's like, listen, girls, if it doesn't work out, like, nobody's going to believe this anyway. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Like, no one's going to believe this. Not a big deal, yeah. but it did. So, uh, within the next, like, year, we moved here and yeah. we started writing, and that's what we've been doing ever since. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. That is awesome. Thank you. But it's been cool, though, because, like you said, the music business has changed yeah. so much, and it's changed while we've been here. Like, right. we've been uh -huh you know, been on these up and coming artists. And um, we've seen how the industry has just completely changed from when we first moved here to now where, you know, like, you get to put songs out on TikTok and see how they do and see their action that people get. So yeah. I'm 
exciting time for me for new music. Yeah. Yes, totally. Definitely. Okay, so how did you get to be on the Kelly Clarkson show, and how was that? So we have a YouTube channel, and yeah. we tried, like, I remember one year, like, we were, like, we're posting a cover, like, every two weeks. Yeah. So we, like, would make a cover, make a video, you know, and do all that. And um, I guess somehow Kelly Clarkson ended up on our YouTube channel. I don't know how, but she started, like, she tweeted about us and said, like, she had went down a rabbit hole and all this stuff. And we have a mutual friend in the business, and he tweeted her and said, you should have him on the show. And she was like, let's make this happen. Mm -hmm. So gracious enough to have us. And, oh, my gosh, yeah. Uh, so kind. It was our TV debut, and it, like, couldn't have gone any better. Uh, so, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Our mom was, um, I was in second grade when she was on American Idol. That was the first time mom ever let us stay up past our bedtime was to watch her on American Idol. So oh, my gosh. Now getting yeah. to be on her show. Incredible. Amazing. Talk about a powerhouse voice. Like, she oh has one of the best voices oh in the world. She's incredible and very, very sweet. And she oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Okay, so tell us about this Jesus song. I love it. Did you guys write it? And who is this guy? Okay. <laughs> so we did not write this song. No. Raylan James, Air Mateer, and Brad Clawson yeah. wrote it. Mm -hmm. um, our manager sent it to us and was like, girls, like, what do you think about this? It's funny. It's definitely a God thing. I had been praying for a song to just establish Walker County. And just all of a sudden, the song shows up. Yeah. And it's like, okay. And it was just one of those songs you listen to, you get chills, and it's undeniable. <laughs> I was like, okay, we need to cut this. So, so Graylin, he's the writer, mm -hmm. and he was on the demo that was sent. And okay. he's he's written a lot for Kenny Chesney, um, right, you know, writer. people that yeah. you – he's just kind of this writer that you're like, oh, my gosh, you've written so many great songs. And he's a young kid, and he's got this great voice. And I know he was really trying to start, um, his, own, start his own yeah. career in music, and yeah. we were like, Song. you sound so good on it can we make it a duet I was like it's perfect for a love song uh -huh. yes um, was all for it and so we were on a send like that we took out our yeah. vocals on it and oh it on TikTok and it took off and the label let us release it and yeah. so yeah open it, it up so open amazing. it up to the lyrics I want to talk about some of these lyrics because um so we are really strong believers we love Jesus we love the Lord and like Easter, you know, yesterday was just so amazing. And, you know, it's, it's been a weird year for me. And I just like, I'm, I'm in awe of the fact that when we really think about Easter and the fact that Jesus rose from the grave, that is so, um, it's, it gives you such peace because we know that we have nothing to fear and that he showed us that and what he was going to do. And that he actually did it so that we would not fear death. And that all we have to do is accept him as our savior. So I love this song and these lyrics because it's not only talking about, because Jesus like meets us where we are. And he also loves to spoil us with, yeah, with things so like love. Yeah. And cute boyfriends and, you know, <laughs> and, just, you know, he wants to give us everything, all the desires of our heart. And so that's why I love the song so much. Where are the lyrics? Well, I don't, they're not on Apple Music. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I wanted to read some of the lyrics. My, why don't you I, guys sing a little bit for us? Oh, Let yeah. Us yeah, bit. we can sing a little bit. I've got my guitar here. Just, oh, my gosh. That would be Because awesome. we don't want it to shut off if we play the song because they have oh. a new, like, copyright thing. Yeah, Instagram no. keeps shutting us off every time we play music, so I'm not sure. But, I, but it's fine if it's live. Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. So, and like what you were saying, it's really cool for us because we're very strong believers mm -hmm. as well. And getting the chance to talk about country music and our faith has been one of the highlights of yeah. this song. Um, oh. Yeah, and yeah. it's uh -huh. really, for me, I can't wait to share about Jesus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that is awesome. So and especially in, today in the world, I feel like, you know, people are really, really looking for a reminder to get back to our roots and our Christian roots. And we had Jody Messina on the show a few weeks ago and she just went off. She sang this incredible Christian song. And, um, so I saw absolutely beautiful. Wasn't she amazing? amazing. Oh 
gosh. And we had the opportunity to open up for her. I think it was like, it was two years ago. Two years, yeah. And she does, she does. And I think that is so cool that she, so you know, plays a gospel song and plays gospel songs that it's are set amazing. unapologetically. Um, yes. Her faith. I love it. I love it. I she think that amazing. more of us in country music need to unapolog unapologetically talk about the Lord. So anyway. Yeah. We'll play a little bit. for us. Cruising hearts and the truths have been. Mistakes I've made, mistakes I've been All the hell I should have never got through God knows I gave him all the reasons not to But Jesus loves me, this I know Look in your eyes, tells me so A sinner like me ought to be alone But Jesus loves me, this I know I wouldn't have you I didn't have him Shout a holy water and a kiss Amen Even when the rest of the world just don't You and Jesus love me This I know The woman I am And the woman you made me One foot in the grave Both of y'all saved me you Took an angel out of me In the neon lights to see Mama and the small town preacher Word lies to me constantly singing together oh yeah whether it's broadway show tunes or whatever <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes well it's like you can read each other's minds and you yeah. just oh. know what you're gonna do yeah know where you're gonna go so let me ask that you this intuition. um my brother matt has always been my bass player and he's three years older than me but i'm his boss and so we've always created this perfect balance between work and family yeah. And now Olivia and her brother Avery, you know, write and produce and everything together. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we have, we all have this mutual respect for each other. And I love it when siblings are really, really close. My sisters used to tour on the road with me. Um, but we thought it might be fun to ask you a few questions, like, just to see how your, how your dynamic is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so you know sister. Parker, Parker, who works for me at the management company, yes. um, he sent us some questions to ask okay. you, okay? <laughs> okay, do you want me to do it? It's a who's most likely to game. Parker. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, is it one of those things where you, they close their eyes and point, or you can just, 
You don't have to close your eyes. Okay, <laughs> who is most likely to be impatient? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Got it. Oh, no, I'm so, I have zero patience. <laughs> really? That's, yeah, I'm kind of that way. I'm like, once I have something in my my mind or an idea, and if it's not done, if I'm not doing it right when I think it, I I get pissed. And I'm here to go, <laughs> Ivy, calm down. Yeah. Calm down, yes. Yeah. True, true. yeah, but I think that's a part of having a strong work ethic and being super ambitious is like, because totally. I'm the same way, you're definitely that way. Yeah. Um, if I'm like, you know, we need to start a clothing line or whatever. I'm like, I want it done now. And sometimes yeah. it's unrealistic. Okay, next yeah. question. Um, who is most likely to laugh at the wrong moment? Be you. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the baby, yeah. You have to watch church even. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, who's most likely to get married first if you're not already? Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, do you have a boyfriend? So, I have not told anybody this, but I'm married. <laughs> Wait, what? You're married? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, hi, family. I'm married. Uh, yeah, I uh, actually, so. <laughs> Your family knows. Uh, uh, most Hush of them. Family. Most Hush of them family. know. Um, what? Wow, we get the scoop on closet This is chaos. amazing. So I'm actually planning a wedding this summer. I'm I, I'm having a wedding this summer. Um, my boyfriend, well, my husband now. Um, he <laughs> he's in the he's army. He's in the army, and okay. um, so there's a lot of like uh, we don't have necessarily the luxury of getting to like plan super far in ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. so we literally we did like a courthouse wedding, and we're like, let's get it done first, and then we'll plan a celebration in the summer with family. So that's what we're doing. So. You know I, why? Oh my gosh. You know uh, why? Because you have no patience. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, there we go. Those two things. You had together. you had to get married. Yes. So yeah. obviously, you went to the courthouse, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Honey, um, we we were really excited, and we were like, okay, like we're gonna do this. Let's just do it. And so, literally, like in a week, we went to the courthouse. My dad, he's ordained because he married my aunt a few years back. And so we went to my mom and dad's house and had like a little, little wedding and signed the papers and then you know. Oh just, my gosh! Yeah, so we're we're secretly married. <laughs> when but was this? Yeah, when was this? Celebrate, but um, anyway, we're planning a really just small, intimate wedding with a really close family in the summer, um, in June. So we're excited! Yeah, congratulations! That's awesome. Well, well okay, so go. do you? Do you like her husband? I love him. His name is Nash. Yes. He is the best. They are literally perfect for each other. I couldn't have picked a better guy for Ivy. Like, he is seriously the best. Like, he's a brother to me now. Like, yeah. Heck, he just brought, he so brought his kids. So we're like, well, he's the perfect, perfect, perfect. man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Incredible. So Incredible. Sweet. Okay. That, thank you for sharing that yeah. with us. Well, wow. you heard it here. I I'm an open book, so when somebody asks me, I'm just like, yeah, okay. we can. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guess what? I will lose.